Welcome once again to Raw Boxing TV. I want to thank you for tuning in to watch this video or at least to listen to me. Once again, I want to apologize because my camera is still having a bit of issues processing audio. Therefore, I can only offer you this still image with my voice behind. The fight I want to talk to you about today is the one we have been expecting. As I said on my quote unquote comeback into the white TBC video, the heavyweight division is, if not the, one of the divisions that is delivering upon real boxing fans request of offering us explosive fights. We have seen all of the fights that they have offered us over the last two years, right? And um, nobody expected us to hear from the trilogy to be announced as quick as it has. So far, the rumors are that the trilogy has been activated between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. It is set to take place on July the 18th. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be somewhere in Las Vegas. I'm very excited about this because, to be honest with you, Deontay Wilder, he can't just say, I'm going to go fight two Uber drivers and, and then I'll fight Tyson Fury. Really and truly, if he was to do that, the criticism would be a lot higher. Now, you already know me from the past. I'm all about the fighter. That's, that's, that's just me. I'm always of the opinion that no matter what the fighter does, right? He's going to get criticized. If the fighter goes out there and knocks 50 people out, he gets criticized because his fights are, quote unquote, not enjoyable anymore. If the fighter decides to go out there and outbox people, his fights are now all of a sudden boring. So it doesn't matter what the fighter does. He's still going to get criticized. So therefore, my thing is that the fighter should always do what it's best for himself. Now, a lot of people might disagree with me in the sense that, you know, they might say, well, he should never come right back in to fight Tyson Fury. And the reason is that is because of the way this fight uh, uh, evolved itself. We saw um, a Deontay Wilder that uh, I think we can all agree when I say had absolutely nothing, nothing to come back uh, unto Tyson Fury. And to be honest with you, it was kind of expected. Uh, nothing was new. I mean, if you think about it, these two fighters have fought a total of 19 rounds. And out of those 19 rounds, I have only given Tyson, I have only given Deontay Wilder probably, you know, 16, 17 at most. Okay, because a lot of, pop, a lot of people want to give him the second round or the third round of this second fight. Eh. I had a shot down to uh, Tyson Fury, but that's fine. Give him that round. The point still remains that out of almost 20 rounds, there's only three rounds on his favor. And this is nothing new because when you look at the fight before that against Ortiz, he was being completely outboxed by Ortiz until, of course, he activated that eraser, which kudos for him. You know, he was able to capitalize on Ortiz. Uh, mistake of abandoning the upper body movement and head movement so you always got to give credit to the fighter when he notices those mistakes and he's able to capitalize on it and he comes out victorious now i get it you know the whole world or maybe not the whole world but a lot of the casual fans might be ecstatic at the fact that deontay wilder uh lost me on another hand i'm happy and I'm not going to say I'm sad. I'm just happy at the fact that we're getting this types of fight. But I appreciate a fighter like Deontay Wilder because although he is flat footed, although he has absolutely zero boxing skills, he does have what we all love to see. And it's that split second eraser. Think about that for a second. And there's been a lot of excuses and a lot of uh, comments and a lot of hate surrounding Deontay Wilder after this fight. I think one of the most ridiculous excuses was activated by him, right? When he came out and said, well, you know, he didn't hurt me at all. Now, we all know that's not true. That's just pride. That's just pride talking for him. 
I'm still of the opinion no fighter should be interviewed after being pummeled like that. Not only after being pummeled like that, but there's 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 the heat of the moment. The boxer might say some nonsense that might come back to bite him in the rear end. So with that being said, I don't think nothing that he said on that day should have been kept on the record. That's just my honest opinion, right? Like I said, he activated that excuse of, you know, having the 40 pound suit, which to be honest with you, man, that is a ridiculous one. One, because he himself has admitted in the Joe Rogan podcast that every day he trains with a 45 pound heavy uh, vest on. So if you're able to carry on 45 minutes to an hour, maybe more, and then you're saying that you take runs, you go for runs with this vest on. And this vest weighs exactly what your suit weighted. Uh, I don't think that that's a good excuse to even bring to the public to say that the reason you lost the fight is because you had no legs. And the reason you had no legs was because you, for 20 minutes, had a 40 pound suit on. And that's what caused you to not have any legs. Right? This is talking on the heat of the moment. This is the nonsense that it comes out of a fighter's mouth guided by pride, emotion, and the heat of the moment. Because Deontay Wilder probably didn't remember at the fact that he said to 6 million people on that podcast, hey, I train every day with a 45 pound vest on. I go for run for jog jogging uh, with a 45 pound vest on. So if you do that every day, if you ever carry a two hour uh, training section every single day, if you're able to go running four to five miles, like you say, with a 45 pound vest on you, then it doesn't make any sense that for 20 minutes, a 45 pound suit or a 40 pound suit is going to just take your legs out. It just doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't. And then there is a lot of excuses coming up. I've been seeing a lot of comments on different videos. Oh, Tyson Fury cheated with those gloves. I went and looked at this so-called accusation. I wanted to dig into it because that is a horrible and terrible accusation to even bring to a video without having hardcore evidence, right? Guys, they're basing this off of some gloves they found on the gym after being worn by heavyweights <laughs> of course they're gonna be freaking worn out that's nothing new if you've ever laced on the gloves if you've ever been up there your gloves go you know they get worn out we don't know how old those gloves are we don't know how many times have they have they been used right and aside from that those aren't even the gloves that were used on the fight let us all remember that every single glove that a fighter puts on to go inside the ring, it is inspected by the commissioner. The commissioner inspects the hand wraps. The commissioner inspects the gloves. The wrapping of the gloves, the padding on the gloves. The commissioner then signs on the wrapping of the gloves. We're not talking about some backyard fight here, people. We're talking about a fight that involves millions of dollars in revenue. Therefore, there's organizations behind it. Organizations behind it. And to be quite honest with you, if those gloves that were shown in some of those videos that had nearly no padding on them, if those gloves were, if the fighting gloves were in that shape, Deontay Wilder with, with the one twos he was eating, he wouldn't have lasted two rounds. That's just common sense if you've ever experienced boxing. So let's not entertain this idea that Tyson Fury somehow manipulated the paddings on the gloves because one, you can go back and look at his gloves and they look pretty fluffed to me, pretty compacted to me. And if, if, Give me just a second here, guys. I got, I'm thinking I'm getting a little bit of a phone call here. Anyway, let's continue. If I get a phone call, I am going to include it 
on the podcast is going to be from Akid, aka Arab Pimp. So I'm going to just include him on the on the on the video here. If the fight, if the gloves that were included on that fight had those paddings like that, again, I want to tell you, Wilder would have not lasted. He just wouldn't have. That's just a fact, okay? He had a guy in front of him that were pumping that one to solid, solid. They weren't even slipping off the top of the head. No, they were landing flush in the face, in the chin, on the side of the head, okay? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not hating on Wilder. I'm simply telling you facts. Not only that are on paper for the record, but you can go back and see for yourself that Tyson Fury was doing whatever he wanted with this man. And there's no reason to get mad at that if you're a hardcore fan of Deontay Wilder, because let's get real here. Even the people that hate Deontay Wilder enjoy Deontay Wilder because Deontay Wilder is the only one right now that's given us pretty much a 98% knockout ratio of all your fights. And so when you have a fighter like that, you have nothing left to do but to appreciate what he brings to the table, even if he does look like a mummy up there when he moves. Because, you know, it's just a matter of time before the one-two drops and the night is over. It's over. That's just the truth about boxing. So boxing fans, let me tell you, do not entertain that idea. Until we see official accusations, until we see hardcore evidence, don't entertain the idea or that foolish idea that somehow Tyson Fury cheated with the gloves based on a video that was recorded on gloves that were training and sparring gloves, which are not the same gloves that were used on fight night. Remember that, guys. Every glove this fighter's put on to fight, it's inspected, not just by the commissioner, it's inspected by the opponent's corner. They go over there, they inspect the hand wraps, they absorb the hand wrap, they stay there from beginning to end, they touch the gloves, they put them on, they feel the padding. Talk about the corner man's now. Once everything's settled, then comes in the commissioner. The commissioner then inspects the hand wrap. If he's happy, he signs off on it. Then they put the gloves on. Once they put the gloves on, they lace the gloves up. They put the tape over the lace. And if they are satisfied with the way the gloves fits, once they inspect the gloves on, then they sign over the tape that's placed over the lacing of the gloves. Do you see the connection we're having here? Do you see that there's too much order? To allow such a foolish mistake like that. I mean, everybody learned from the Margarito incident. After that, there has never been an incident like that. Never. Absolutely never. And the reason the Margarito one was so sneaky to, 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 to catch is because the hand wrap were even soft. They looked like regular hand wraps when they were on. But they hardened as soon as water touched it. But gloves are not like that. This is not the case with the gloves. Anyways, I'm very excited about this fight. I don't know about you. Drop on your comments what you think about this fight. Drop your com- on your comments what you think, who you think is going to win this fight. I got to be real with you. Even if Deontay Wilder loses this trilogy, a lot of people are saying, oh, if he loses this trilogy, it'll, it'll completely ruin his career. No, it won't. No, it won't. Let me ask you a question and answer it in the comments below. You ready? Get your boxing thinking cap on, because here it comes. Name me. Name me one heavyweight out there, aside from Tyson Fury. That is as tall as Deontay Wilder. That hits as hard as Deontay Wilder. Or that can take a punch like like Deontay Wilder's punch. There's none. Now that we know, right? So even if Deontay Wilder does loses, we already know Tyson Fury ain't going to stick around forever because he said once he beats AJ, he's retiring. So all those, you know, all those belts are going to be vacant because I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead on the limb here and tell you, I have Tyson Fury 
uh, beating AJ. And I'll do a video when the time's right if this fight ever happens. No. Even if he loses, his career is not over. Even if he loses, he will wear some, some hardware all over again. He will be champion of the world all over again. Matter of fact, I'm willing to, to, to go on a limb here and say he will rule the heavyweight division as the main man once again. Because right now, not only is he young in the sport in the sense that, let's be real, he hasn't taken a lot of punishment other than the hands that have been put on him by Ortiz and... and um, and Tyson Fury, he hasn't been, he's the one being that's been giving uh the punishment. But that's really that that's that's really about it. So, I mean, I personally believe that this is a good fight. I personally believe Deontay Wilder will lose again. And I also personally believe personally believe that Deontay Wilder will rise again will rule the heavyweight uh, division once again. <coughs> Excuse me. It's just simple. All you got to do is look at the fights. Look at the fighters out there. Now, if two years from now, we get a, a, another heavyweight that's at least 6'5", has long arms, and say maybe he doesn't have the punching power of Deontay Wilder, but at least a 70 or 60% of it, then we can make the case that, hey, wait a minute, maybe, maybe, if this guy knows how to box, maybe Deontay Wilder now has a challenger in his hand. But I just don't see anybody, to be honest with you. That's just, that's, that's not being naive. That's just the truth, to be honest with you. So keep that in mind, guys. Let me know what you think. Support this channel by hitting the thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. Hit activate the notification bell. It'll only guarantee about 5% of my videos to pop up on your live feed. And pretty soon I'm going to be having a Patreon account, account coming up. And if it's uh, your desire to just support the channel, uh, you will have the opportunity to do so. I am very grateful for you tuning in. Raw Boxing TV, I'm out. Like then I, I wear a 45-pound uh, um, vest on me as well too and all my exercise and everything that I do to have that extra weight on me. Really? Mm-hmm.